Hello? Yeah, hello mate. What do you mean, what am I wearing? So we've come down to Carlton Marshes today in Suffolk and uh, we've come to see the... We have come on a bear hunt. What? Did he just say bear hunt? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes he definitely said bear hunt. I'm not sure that's 100% accurate. But bear with us and we'll uh, explain all. Colton Marshes, together with Alton Marshes, is a lowland reserve in the Broads National Park. It consists of meadows, wetland, reed beds, marsh and woodland. It's a beautiful day out for all the family, it's definitely worth going. We're here really to try and see if we can find Chinese water deer, which right. got really fluffy ears. So people tend to say they look a bit like a teddy bear. Oh, okay, so okay, that's cool. We're after the bears. Excellent. And uh, I hear there's some whacking great spiders here as well. Yes, there are yeah, the thin raft spider, which is. <laughs> <laughs> And, yeah. um, <laughs> not as you called it earlier, Ben the Ralph Spider. Oh, I, like, well, I, like, I prefer Ben, so let's kind of... Well, yeah, see if you want to be cutesy, <laughs> but no, but yeah. I've nicknamed them Ben, and that's yeah. what their name is. Yeah. Um, bird life, lots of bird life here. Yeah, 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 everybody should see hobbies. Um, several kestrels about, yeah. marsh harriers, and there's barn owls here. There were little owls, we might see a little owl if we're lucky, but there's barn owls, there's boxes about, so yeah. All right, let's get to it then, yeah? Yeah, absolutely. It's relatively easy to get to Cotton Marshes. Just head up the A12 towards Lowestoft. This multi-million pound development project is managed by Suffolk Wildlife Trust and it's going to be the most amazing reserve once all finished. Along with the teddy bears and of course Spen Ra, there are plenty of species here to photograph. Our first stop of the day, a pair of goldfinches. An opportunity we can't miss. What an amazing bird. Next stop is Ben Ra. I mean, Finn Ralph Spider. If you suffer from a ratnophobia, probably best to skip past this bit. Right, so uh, Ben Ra. Yes, Ben the Raft Spider. <laughs> Fen Raft. So, Fen Raft right, Spider. Fen right. Raft Spider. Yeah. So, it's pretty rare here, isn't it though? Well, up until they reintroduced it here, yeah. um, there's only three places. Okay. One at their Red Grave and Lopping thing, which is one place in Wales and another place in Sussex. But uh, now, it's a stronghold for it here. Yeah, so what's the likelihood we're actually going to see one today? Apparently they're notorious. I've seen them before when the the warden here showed me one and they are really, really hard to see. Okay. And as if by magic. Oh hold on. I've got one. I've got one. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, I can't take my eyes off. I'm right. There's a web. Right, okay. See where these plants are? I'll try and point it <laughs> There's out. There's a lot of plants there. Yeah, I'll try and point it out. You see, I can where see them, the web. You can see the web. Yeah, yeah, I can see the web. You see where them plants are? You see where that comes up into almost like an arch, them yeah. white little plants? Yeah. Look beyond it. Oh, yeah. See it? Wow, 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 wow. wow. Ooh. The female fen raft spider can grow up to seven centimetres across. It has a brown body and a cream stripe along its side. This one's protecting her eggs. As scary as it looks, it's not that bad. Well, the day's getting on now, so we'll move along. We we'll bump into a couple of teddy bears on the way, but it's all good fun. It's amazing what you can find if you keep your eyes open. Grass snakes are pretty common in the UK, but it's quite difficult to find them, let alone pick one up. They're not poisonous, but they do eat frogs, small toads, and newts. 
Oh, and they do stink. Out ahead of us, we spot a young female marsh harrier hunting on the wing. She's a big bird, but she flies with such grace, it's amazing to watch. It's always good to see the harriers. They are on the amber watch list, so they're not out of the woods yet. As much as I would love to sit here and watch her all day, we've got to move on. We've got a lot of things to see. something in the next marsh. He snaps into stealth mode and we get our creep on. With Lloyd's experience in stalking, he can get us so close to these animals it's unbelievable. He signals he can see three teddy bears on the other side of the marsh. We all take our positions and lo and behold there they are. As its name suggests, this unusual deer is not a native UK species, having been introduced from China in the 19th century. It favours wet, marshy habitat and is a strong swimmer when it needs to. You know the expression, you can never have enough of a good thing. Well, Barney, after all this time, where the hell have you been? I've been on the hunt for Barney for the last couple of weeks, and I'm glad he looks well. I wonder what he's been up to. Oh, oh, I see. Good man. Amazing day. What an incredible thing. <laughs> the list of stuff yeah. we've seen today. <laughs> well, what have we seen? Well, uh, we've seen four barn owls. We've just seen the two here, yep. two down the end. Yeah, amazing. Grass snake, marsh harriers. There was a brood of marsh harriers. Yeah. Kestrels, Kestrels. Hobbies. That was incredible. Plenty of water deer. Yep. Close encounters of hares. <laughs> That was amazing, amazing. We're going to definitely have to come back, aren't we? Oh yeah, definitely, yeah. It's just, you know, especially with all what's going on with the project, it's going to be 
It's, when it's a finish, it's going to be an amazing place. Yeah, yeah. In the winter, it's going to be extraordinary. Yeah, and hopefully we can get um, maybe an interview or something with one of the wardens, and yeah. that'd be really good. When it just you know gives an overview, oh, yeah, what is, you know the whole project. And yeah, yeah, awesome. Yeah.